Okay, so here's my um, finished strawberry barrel, and I just wanted to show it to you. I've got it all planted, and so what I'm, I'm going to do now is just finish watering it and fertilizing it a bit. All of these are transplants from my neighbor, Greg. Thank you again, Greg. And Donna, his awesome wife. She is absolutely adorable and can do more in one day than most people can do in a week. Okay, so these are um, hopefully going to make it. I'm excited. Um, I planted more up here than I did down here. My reason for that is because strawberry plants give off runners. And as the runners come out, you can plant them in the next thing down like that and, and hook them in with a hook and cover it with dirt and then a new plant will, will begin to form. So as they hang down, that's my theory anyway, is that I'll need spots to put those runners. So that's why I did that. So we'll see what happens. Um, I know it's going to be important that I water this every single day and um, you know, spray it down, make sure it gets good fertilizer. This here is going to be for compost. I'm going to put dirt in and then some straw and then, you know, um, like leftover food. It has to be like vegetable type compost safe stuff, you know. Apple peelings, bananas, fruits, brines, things like that. Then you stuff those in there, more more dirt and more um, straw, grass clippings, whatever. And it keeps your compost building up. Um, so hopefully this is going to be really awesome. And if I can make this one specific barrel work this year, then I may go for a second one next year. So we'll, we'll see what that what happens. So anyway, um, now I've got the rest of this area. I'm going to be planting a tree next. So we'll see if I can get a um, video about that for you. This is a peach tree. So. Anyway, I'm looking forward to chatting with you again. Alright, thanks for watching, Petals, Pops, and Potions.